Hello, welcome back to Collider, and it's myself and Dennis here, and we are going to do a... We, oh, it's funny, though, because Dennis is like, yeah. come here, get over here. Yeah, yeah. yeah we're, it's Game of Thrones and Season 6 trailer, the Red Band trailer. Yeah, because at first I was like, I'm going to watch this. Wait, we're doing trailer reactions <laughs> yeah. and reviews now, and I, anyone who watches me uh, on, on Collider or on Think Hero knows I love Game of Thrones. As do I, so I'm very interested to see this. I haven't seen anything, I, I, any teasers or anything, yeah. too. I just want to see this trailer a lot going on so what we're gonna do is we will watch the trailer we'll react to it obviously by seeing it for the very first time and then we'll give our thoughts on it um, and then we hope that you will do the same thing all right so without any further ado let's watch the trailer again all right, right. oh uh, there we go all right there we go he's gone he's yeah is he he's is he no Hate him. Yeah. Is this one's balls? Oh, Mr. Friend Zone. Yeah. I like this choice of music. Yeah, it's a. Uh, Chris Isaac. Like a new version. Dragon. Mm. Oh, there he is. Oh, it's Franken. <laughs> Franken Frank Mountain. Franken. Oh. Oh. More nudity. <laughs> wow. All right. What was that? Oh, Arya? Oh, yeah. Night King. Night King. I've never been much of a fighter. Apologies for what you're about to see. Aha. Ah, teasing Jon Snow there. All right. Yes, they're, I mean, they started with snow and they end with snow. We'll let you know. He's coming back. He's got to be coming back. Yeah, he's got to be coming back. I mean, you look at that. I think that she's out. The, he, he's on the table for, what, Melisandre? Yeah. yeah. She's going to bring him back. Something's going to happen. They, they tied that into either season two or season three where the Lord of Light can bring people back. He's going to be one of the guys. I think everybody kind of knows that anyway. Yeah, because otherwise the, his storyline was useless. Yeah. Why bring him through all these seasons and all he's gone through and him becoming a leader to just kill him off. It's a great point because there are so many different characters that have died on this show to where that's not the case. No, so like yeah. Their storylines were told and it's like even though it sucks that they were killed, like even when when Ned Stark was killed, it yeah. was there was a reason for that. It made sense. Yep. It made sense. Yep. Even last season with Stannis dying, it made sense. Yeah, this I hated one, that though. I hated it yeah. too, but his story arc kind of yeah. met its end where Jon Snow never hit that point. There's no way they would just throw that away. You know, the rest of the trailer, for me, it's a, there's so many moments. This is a trailer that you watch ten times um, in order to find out everything that's going on because there's something with Arya. How, is, yeah, it, what's she that seems, all about? Because at the end of season five, she kind of like, she her eyes go, she can't see mm -hmm. anymore. And it looks like it's a permanent thing because her eyes are all whited out. It looks like she's blind. Right. I mean, there's, so... And then you see Daenerys. She's 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 captured. There's so much with Jaime Lannister again getting on with his sister. We both kind of <laughs> we went oh yeah. gross. So uh, that's uh, I mean this to me this is the trailer that goes hey guys we're back. Yeah. It really is. It's to let you know that we're coming back. Get excited. It, the production's as big as ever. The yeah. characters are as crazy as ever. The storylines will continue. My only thing, my biggest gripe with Game of Thrones um, has always been. If you watch any of our reviews on that, I've said this. I thought the show has been ph phenomenal from start to finish. Mm -hmm. The problem is that I feel like sometimes they just get grim. I know it's the part, I know it's the books, <laughs> but just for the sake of doing it, it's like, oh, you're having a really good time? He's dead, yeah. they're dead. She's, it's just like, sh I don't want it to be shock value stuff. Mm -hmm. I want it to serve the story. Well, I think if, if something like Jon Snow actually, if he actually died, then I kind of would feel the same way as you did, where, where because I, I'm pretty sure he's Me coming too. back. Me too. That 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 didn't happen. Yeah. I mean, this, it definitely gets dark a lot of the time. Yeah, I mean that's that's the nature of the show. I get that. I just sometimes for me the moments when they pop in there, it just I just don't want it to feel like shock value. Mm -hmm. I want it to feel like it's serving the story. 
Um, and this season looks great. I really loved the trailer. Not enough for me to say whether or not I, I think, oh, I don't want to see this storyline. Yeah. It's, it's just a series of images, which I really enjoyed. I don't want them giving away too much. I'm already invested. And the one thing, too, is this is the first season that we have where there isn't a corresponding book. The book that he was right. working on right. still hasn't come out yet. So usually every season, book readers are like, oh, I know what's going to happen, or this is different from the they book. Don't they, they don't know. They don't know. This one is like a complete secret. We don't know what's going to happen with Daenerys. You know, she's right. captured by... Uh, Take that, uh, book Rocky. readers. Yeah, exactly. The Doth Rocky. We had, you know, all these shots. This one, you know, this is kind of more of like a teaser, right? Yeah, I mean, it is in, in because it's not telling you the full story, but it's also... This is like this is why every time on Movie Talk we'll talk about Game of Thrones as being the one series that you could see having a feature film mm -hmm. because look at it yeah. it looks like a damn feature film the whole thing it's the high production yeah. value it doesn't seem fake it's it, it all seems real and it reminds me of, of I think you're a fan of Rome also yeah, right yeah, yeah. it's it, you can tell that that this show evolved from the the kind of the Rome lessons of the past oh for sure and then also I mean. Quite frankly, it looks a lot better than some of these fantasy movies that come out that look Absolutely. like Seventh Son. We always talk about how hey, this is a terrible fantasy movie. Yeah. It's like, how is this TV show with less money doing more than what you guys are? Yeah. You know? All right, that's it. That's what we thought of the trail. I really loved it. I think yeah, you loved it as I loved well, it. too. I mean, I want to see more. This is probably the latest they've shown a kind of a trailer. It, it, it's coming up in yeah, like, like a month. Yeah, usually yeah. they show it three, four months ahead of time. Um, I think it's smart to do it this way. I think because you get you get people talking about it and then you're only a month away as far as they've shown it three months and then, oh, you gotta show <laughs> another one and another one. This is all I need to see. I'm sure we'll do another one. But the question is, how about you guys? First of all, what do you think about season five and then season six? Did you enjoy the trailer? If you're brand new to Collider Video, well, thank you for joining us. Hit that subscribe button. Be part of the conversation. We do movie talk daily. We have a Star Wars show, Jedi Council. We talk superheroes on Heroes. We do Mailbag, and we have a ton of other shows that we'd love you guys to be involved. TV talk is coming soon. It is. And you yeah. know they're gonna, we're going to be covering Game of Thrones. You bet your ass, Dennis.